there are two questions. Uh, one is from Katie Cosman. He's, she's from the U.S. Commission on International Religious Freedom. And her question is um, whether there is now in Turkey a new uh, Turkish style of secularism. And the second question is... I, I, don't, I don't understand that. The new Turkish style of secularism. Well, that's her question. Okay. <laughs> so much. Yeah. Well, I guess this is uh, my interpretation, and please correct me if I'm wrong. She's asking what would be um, uh, the rising of the AP to power. Now there is the religion is more uh, visible in the public sphere. So does that mean a new uh, Turkish style uh, secularism away from the French model? This is my interpretation, and please correct me. And the second question is from Adam Nixon, and he's from the Almora Television. And his, his, his question is, how strong are Islamist uh, movements in domestic politics and are they radicalized? I really would like to answer these questions, but uh, first of all, I didn't get what the question means, because it's too, too much metaphorical. But I should say this, I mean, we don't have this type of debates normally in Turkey. I mean, Turkish secularism, yes, I mean, it's a good theory. The party coming from what Islamic groups, okay, keep thinking about this Islamism, radicalism, we may. But it's not accurate time. This has been debated for many years. CHP has its last seven years political life debating this type of issues and didn't gain anything, they just left over. It doesn't mean they just got rid of this idea. It depends on where you're looking at it. I mean, if you're looking really from, uh, as the question said, French type of secularism, yes, you may find many uh, peoples and problems within Turkish secularism. It may not come to your secular enough. But if you're looking at from Yozgat, the middle of Turkey, in an Anatolian city, then you may find entire Turkish secularism is terrible. So. What's more important thing is constitution, where four people will agree upon a social text, then they act upon it. Right now, we really don't have an issue of secularism in Turkey. There are issues related to secularism, but it's not in the political scene. Parties are not debating about it. You cannot show me one single statement uh, since the election campaign started that any party member of four political parties mentioning about this type of thing. But these are uh, the statements in the question that rising radical Islamism, I don't know. I think first we should prove that, that there is a rising of radical Islamism. Then we should debate what are the features of it and what are the opposing it. I really don't know. These are I mean, too much detailed and uh, abstract questions. Sorry, I Can you please be very brief? Yes, I posed the question, but maybe not clearly. My man was in the Constitution, the reforms of the Constitution, whether the like issue will be addressed. It seems to me that you answered that it partly will be, for example. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, it, 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 it could be addressed, definitely. And, and my other question had, had to do with the question of redefining who is a Turk. In other words, uh, what about certations? It seems to me that there are increasing um, identification of you know, subdivisions among Turks, so to speak. Um, and it, this is also a live political question. I mean, I just said my position is define, we should not define anything. Let people define themselves how they are like to. This is my personal reading. Uh, I think I am not alone on that. Many people in Turkey are like, saying that not define anybody if he wants to call himself secular secular so there's nothing should be in the constitution defining what the people in this country in Turkey but again it's not an easy, easy process because the remnants of the last hundred years is full of these debates defining its own citizens, its own citizens, sect sectarian attitudes, religion, identity, ethnicity. So we're coming out of that turmoil and trying to find a way. Uh, why I am hopeful, 
what I mean governing an opposition party looks like, at least in abstract level, plus their, uh, in their election uh, statements asking for this change. And with a very similar manner, we'll see it's a big test for them. Question about the construction project. Like this. Uh, <laughs> it was a well, lady, uh, back then. Oh, I, I really don't know the details of the project, but what's important thing is why we don't have any excitement. Two dimensions. First, I said September 12th, where Brandon already took entire attention of the election. Plus, in this election, Kılıçdaroğlu did a brilliant move. I think Erdogan is not, is, he was not expecting that move. He got rid of that political discourse that everybody get used to, the CHP's political discourse. And he started talking about the political economy and projects. So one way or another, uh, Erdogan needs to answer it. But that project we learned uh, goes back to, what, two years uh, earlier. I mean, he was planning for that thing. It really created what huge excitement, and right now we suddenly found that we have at least 1,000 uh, environment experts, architects. They are all over the TVs, and they are debating it, and it turned itself to a communication wars and campaign. So basically, uh, for almost 10 days, those uh, projects in Istanbul, Kanal Istanbul, uh, dominated entire political scene. So Kılıçdaroğlu uh, was able to create energy and excitement at the very beginning of the campaign, but that camel Istanbul just jumping it, but it got rid of it. So this kind of construction project, at the end of the day, it really relates to that region, and still it's not around. I mean, you're just talking about an idea. 